Hi all, welcome to Night Rips. And as I go out to the store more, I'm starting to starting to think that the world is starting to come a little bit closer to back to normal when it comes to finding product. I went to the store today and actually found a product that really intrigues me since I do love opening up old type of cards. That product would be 2021 Archives. Now this one has, a, you know, it's a little bit different um, because what they do, they've taken new players and there is some older players and they basically put uh, cards that mimicked or looks a lot like uh, multiple years throughout tops. And this, in this year, it's uh, 57, 62, 73, 83, 91, 2001, 2011. And then finally, I think the last one is like 2031 or something like that. It's a, uh, it's a future base but i did find some blasters in this i haven't opened up any hobbies of this one yet because I, I just wanted to get, you know take a look at it see see what we got so let's go ahead and rip this open and see see what it looks like now granted there's chances of mem there's chances of autographs there's numbered cards you know everything that we know and love about tops um, and on top of that, the one thing that I know and love about Tops is they actually give you the odds of what you can find. So if you want to pause, there it is. The only thing that we are guaranteed in this is there is three exclusive 1989 Tops Big Foil cards in here. Everything else is, we'll just say it's a surprise. Now this one, there is seven pack, or, uh, is it seven packs or eight or eight packs of seven? Seven packs of eight. So, total of 56 cards. Making sure there's nothing else in there. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Again, I've seen some of this ripped. I've not seen really any of the blasters. All I've ever seen was the, uh, the, the hobby boxes. Now those are pretty cool because there is a top loader that is a puzzle, uh, not puzzle, a uh, poster. But there is many versions of that poster card in in these packs. So we can go ahead and see what we can pull. So first pack to in. All right, and right off the bat, we get the, uh, remember correctly, that is the, I think that's the 52. Double check the back. And it doesn't really say. You have to go back and look. I know the 52 and the, uh, uh, yeah, the 57 and the 62, I do kind of, they do blur a little bit. Actually, no, they don't. Because the one right behind it, Jorge Soler here, that's actually a 62. So this must be the 57. But yeah, we got a nice Jorge Soler, the World Series MVP. And actually, it's turning out to be a part of my PC is Solaire, since for whatever reason, I've been getting a lot of him. And we got Kutch. It's a nice card. And Victor Robles, another 62. There's a Bogarts. I don't want to say these are 73s, maybe? Now we get one of the big head. Now these were, these look like stickers, or these were stickers back in, oh, geez. What year was that? I am totally drawing a blank. Uh, 63. I'm having to go back and check my cheat sheet next to me here. But these are these these were in 63. These big heads were pill off stickers. Now obviously these aren't. And uh, getting a nice rookie Ryan Mount Castle is definitely a nice one. Very cool. We have a Christian Javier. This one, I'm trying to remember its year. There's Gio Ursula. This would be the 50 years. So this was 20 years ago. So that would be what, 21, uh, 2000, 2001. That should make this one, I want to say this one might have been 2011. I honestly don't remember now. Totally drawing a blank. 
I have opened up, or I have do have multiple uh, boxes of this blaster. So I will do some more research before I open up another one. Thought it was gonna be a little bit easier. I, I was thinking there was gonna be something on the packs that would tell me, or something on the uh, the cards that would tell me what year. Kind of like what they did with the 70s through the years uh, in top series. But they didn't. Therefore, I'm actually going to have to do some work. But that's fine. That's what I'm here for. But I do know this is a 1962. That nice wood finish look of you, Darvish. And, of course, we got another. This will be the National League uh, Championship Series MVP of Eddie Rosario. So, two of my World Series uh, Braves. I'm happy about that. There's Kyle Seeger. I want to say that is the 57. Eloy Jimenez, also that 57. Max Kepler, 62. Oh, Wait a minute, is this real? Oh, this is cool. We actually got an autograph. Is that really it? Yeah, it's a certified autograph. So we have an autograph of Kim Ning, Ng, the Marlins general manager. Wow. So first blaster, and we pull an autograph. That's pretty cool. Huh. Yeah, it's, it was, it's the gold, uh, you know, the the gold fan favorite is that you had to look real close to see it actually says certified autograph issue. But that is cool. And it's actually on card. And you can actually, as you, as you hold it over the light a little bit, you can actually tell, you know, she pushed the, in, the pen into this. So this is really cool. So put that one to the side. Eh? That's uh, even though she is the Marlin general manager, that's pretty neat. So here's again. This is the 50-year card, Thurman Munson. So this would be uh, 2001. Yeah, 2001. Got to count back. And of course we have the 140 card, 140 years. This is the one that is tops in the future. So if it's seven, it's seventy years from this year. So it'd be uh, twenty one oh one, I guess. Huh. My math might be wrong. This I am shooting this late at night, and I am tired. Not a not a an excuse, but I'm actually still totally kind of surprised that we pull pulled an auto out of a blaster the first blaster we've ever opened so i like this product so there's cal ripkin jr nick castellanos joe adele this would be the 83 it's pretty neat so this would be 30 years ago so this should be 91011 this is 1991 and I've got a lot of the 40s from 1991 since I was collecting pretty heavy back then. This should be 73, I think. Double checking. Yeah, this should be 73. And here we got one of the foils. We should be getting three foils per pack. This time we got a Vladdy Jr. That would be 1989 edition. Pretty nice. And we have Eddie Matthews. There in that 2101 or whatever the, the year is. I'll have to do my math better. But pretty cool. So both of our future cards are players that played the past. We got two more. These would be the... Uh, 2001 Willie McCovey and Ricky Henderson you have to excuse me there's so many that this one has more years than I think any of the other ones ever had so 
this is this is a good one to open to find out how well you do you remember the cards and obviously i am doing a horrible job at it but i will blame it on the fact that we actually pulled an, an on-card autograph There's a 57 Jack Flaherty, a 62 Mark McGuire, a 73 Chris Bryant, I think I'm getting it, an 83 Tom Glavin, and an 83 Luis Compensano, rookie. This is weird. This one actually says top 70, whereas this one says tops 50. Is there a reason for that? I wonder. I don't know if this is actually a special insert or not. So I'm going to have to do some research on this one because it is, I mean, it's the same design, but it's got a different stamp on it. Huh. I don't know. So I will, I will do some research and I'll drop this in, in the description of uh, what it truly is because everything else has said 50, but this one says 70. Hmm. There's Brandon Woodruff for 50. And then of course we have Roberto Clemente in the 2001. Three packs to go and probably still some more confusion. We still got two more of those 89 foils to go. And so far, this has been a, to say fascinating rip is an understatement, but it has been fun. We have an 83 Brent Rooker. Oh, and I got my stacks mixed up here. A 73 Esteban Florial, rookie, and then a Mookie Bet, same year. We have the... Uh, what was that, 2001? Mm -mm. No, 1991 Padres. Uh, Adam Frazier. We have one of the post poster cards, the Slam Diego poster card. Now, in the, the hobby boxes, the box toppers are big versions of these, but it is still cool that we can get the smaller versions as cards. And we got our 89 would be Anthony Rizzo and it's interesting they actually got Anthony Rizzo as a Yankee since he actually got traded mid-season so pretty cool we have that future card this time we got Harmon Killebrew so all of our future cards are definitely people of the past just checking and make sure we don't have any numbered in there we have a Tris speaker from 1990 or yeah 19 no 2001 and we have a Rob Crew. Again, this one says 50. It doesn't say 70 like the Kyle Hendricks. I am really confused. I do like this product so far, though. This this has been it has been a fun rip, and I'm not saying that because I actually pulled an, an interesting auto. I'm saying this because it's it just it, the interesting things that you're finding in this. So there's Ernie Banks from 1991. Alex Kirloff is his rookie, but it's also 1991. We have Ron Santo from 83. I remember where all my cards are. There's Ken Griffey Jr. from 73. Tim Anderson from 73. We have Eddie Murray. Again, this would be uh, 2001. Logan Gilbert, this is actually 20, 2011, if I remember correctly now. I think I'm starting to get it now. And then finally, we pulled one of those future cards that wasn't a, a legend. We actually have a rookie of Christian Pache with the Braves. Last pack. Let's see what else we can do. I can definitely tell you before I open another box of this, there's going to be some research going on. Because uh, 
definitely some stuff that is throwing me off. And of course my years calculating, I have to take my socks off so I can use my fingers and toes. There's a Kenta Media in the 83. Nelson Cruz in the 73 in his Rays uniform. That's pretty cool. We have the 83 Clark Schmidt rookie. The 62 Steven Strasburg. A 62 Ozzie Smith. Well, that's a young Ozzie Smith too. We got one of the I want to say, remember, was it 69? Christian Pache, Floating Heads. These do freak you out. These are stuffs of nightmares. But at least both Christian and Ryan Mountcastles are young guys, so they're not as scary. Uh, there's some of those players that are a little bit scary. We have the 89 foil of A Rod. The 2011 Evan White rookie. And then finally, the last one is a future card of Fernando Tetis Jr. So that's it for this rip. You can tell there's a lot of stuff. You know, we did get the three foil cards. You know, Rodriguez, Rizzo, and Vlad Jr. Um, they're nice foil board cards. Not chrome. They're just that, that uh, refractor-looking foil. We did get one of the poster cards this time. We got Slam Diego with uh, Trent Grisham, Will Myers, Tatis Jr., and Manny Machado. Pretty cool. I, honestly, it'd be one of the reasons to get the hobby boxes is to get the, the big versions of these. But, you know, I, I think, honestly, finding them on eBay is probably the easier way of doing it. And then we got, you know, definitely, uh, you know, we got every year covered. 57, 62, 73, 83, 91, 2001, 2011, and then whatever 70 years from this year. That, no, it's 2091, I guess it would be. We got several of those. We did get this one, and this one I don't understand why it says top 70. It's almost like it was, it's a, it should be back in the, series but it's definitely a little bit different let's see the back of these so yeah this one has the the top 70s years on it this one has top 50 years on it i don't understand because they're the same design huh definitely got to research that one a little bit but the probably the coolest pull of this entire one is we got kim ing on card auto and so the general manager of the Marlins, and you can see up here, it, it definitely says fan favorite, certified autograph issue. So pretty cool that in a blaster box like this, you can still pull an on-card auto. So that's it for this rip. Uh, you have to excuse if I sound a little confused in this one because uh, I, I honestly am. Getting the years down, that, that's not a big deal. You know, it just takes a little bit of time to remember that. But uh, definitely some stuff in this one that I've got to go research and understand a little bit. Because some of it just doesn't make sense to me. You know, the the whole 70 years on the Kyle Hendricks. I don't, it don't make sense to me. And then I want to go ahead and back, make sure to verify all the, the years. I think I've got them right now. Just took a little bit. You know, I am getting old, so it takes a little kick in the head to actually get going again. But that's it for this rip. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, make sure you subscribe and hit that notify button whenever I put more stuff up. I do have more of this product. Fingers crossed we might get lucky with, with even more of it. But, you know, we'll see. Also, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have any comments, drop it below. I'd love to converse with everyone in the community. Um, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy showing off cards that maybe, maybe you're on the fence whether or not you want them or not. You want to you know, check it out. That's what I do too, is I want to say before I go and buy and especially some of the more expensive stuff, um, I go and watch the videos first. So enjoy doing this. I look forward to doing it again here real soon. But until then, bye now.